Hello everyone, this is Chase Crispin, and today we're going to be looking at how to connect your Braille Plus 18 to a Wi-Fi network. You will want to connect to a Wi-Fi network to browse the web, send and receive email, download books, and more, so this is one of the first things you'll want to do after receiving your Braille Plus 18. To connect to a Wi-Fi network on the Braille Plus 18, we first need to enter the Settings screen. There's a few different ways to get to settings, but if you're on the home screen like I am currently, you can just press the menu key, which is the long vertical bar located to the left of the arrow keys. If I press the menu key, menu, settings, one of three. We have three options, but the first option is settings. So we can just press the select key located in the middle of the arrows to open settings. Settings, wireless and networks, one of 13. The settings screen contains a lot of options, but we're right now only concerned with the first option, which is wireless and networks. This is the screen you must enter to connect to a Wi-Fi network. To enter the screen, I'll press the select key. Wireless and network settings. Airplane mode disable all wireless connections not checked. One of seven. There are seven options in this screen relating to various forms of connections you can do on the Braille Plus 18. The first option allows you to turn on airplane mode, which will disable all wireless connections as it says. Normally you won't want to do this unless you are indeed on an airplane or if you just want to conserve a lot of battery power. This is just a simple checkbox. You can press the select key here to enable that and that will turn off your phone, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, etc. But for right now we're going to skip this. We're going to press the down arrow key to move to the next option. Wi-Fi, turn on Wi-Fi not checked. Two of seven. The Braille Plus 18 says Wi-Fi. This is actually Wi-Fi. And it is currently saying unchecked. And this means that Wi-Fi is turned off. To connect to a Wi-Fi network, you must turn on Wi-Fi, which will allow it to find available networks. To check this checkbox to turn on Wi-Fi, you simply press the select key. Checked. After a brief second, the Braille Plus announces checked which tells you that the Wi-Fi is now on. If we down arrow again, Wi-Fi settings set up and manage wireless access points. Three of seven. We have Wi-Fi settings, and this tells us that this allows us to set up and manage wireless access points. If I press the select key to enter this screen, Wi-Fi settings, Wi-Fi checked, one of four. The Wi -Fi first checked. option, one of four is the Wi-Fi checkbox that we found earlier. So we can either turn Wi-Fi on or off in the main wireless and networks area, or we can go into this wireless network settings screen and turn it on in here. But we hear that this checkbox is checked, meaning that Wi-Fi is on. If we down arrow. Network notification notify me when an open network is available checked. Two of four. We hear network notifications, and it asks you if you would like the Braille Plus to notify you when an open network or a network that doesn't require a password is available. If this is checked like it is by default, the Braille Plus is going to tell you any time that there's a network it can connect to. This may get rather annoying if you just know what networks you need, so if you don't wish to see any notifications about open Wi-Fi networks, you can just press the select key. Unchecked to uncheck this checkbox, and that's how I prefer it to be set. If you have this checked and it sends you a notification about an available network, it will appear in the notification screen that we demonstrated in a previous tutorial. If I down arrow again, DC Crispin's network secured with and this is a pretty interesting screen because it allows you to Crispin's network secured with WPA slash and I silent speech with the shift key. It allows you to always have a list of the most current networks and as signal strengths change, the network list is going to refresh and make sure it has all of the available networks. So the focus of the Braille Plus 18 is going DC to Crispin's bounce around quite a bit and repeat status only in this screen just because signal strength and even available networks are changing. This first option is my home network, and this is a password protected network. So to connect to this network, we simply press the select key. We're going to be asked for the network password, which I'm going to type in. And be aware that this dialog behaves a bit strangely because it's going to keep speaking other things like the network name. 
and you're not going to see the characters you're typing on the Braille display. However, you must know that you are typing in an edit field, so you just keep on typing, and you will be entering your password even though you won't think it is because your password's not going to be spoken or shown on the Braille display. So don't let this screen scare you. You just have to keep on typing, but you are going to hear speech say other things, and some other things are going to be shown on your Braille display. So with that warning said, let's press the select key to enter this screen, and I'll type my password. DC Crispin's net. So, so. I've typed so, my password. So. I'm going to press down arrow. Unchecked show password. And Check one more time to the connect button. I'll press select. DC, DC Crispin's DC Crispin, DC Crispin's network connected. Three of eight. And that is all that we have to do. We are now connected as it says. So to exit the wireless network settings screen, we can press the back DC key. Crispin. Wireless and network settings. We're what back to see? the wireless and network settings. The back key again. Settings. Wireless and takes networks. us to the main settings screen and the back key one more time. Home phone. One of thirteen. Returns us to the home screen. There's one more thing I'd like to mention that was in the dialog where we entered our network password. There was an option that said show password unchecked. If you would check this checkbox by pressing the select key, the Braille Plus 18 would display your password on a TV screen on the Braille display and it would speak your password as you were typing it instead of saying star so that you could check over your password and make sure it's correct. So if you would like your password to be shown, you can check this checkbox. Just keep in mind that anyone around you will be able to see and hear your password if this is checked. Also, after we press the connect button, you heard speech start saying the name of my network several times. This is because there's a status change. It goes from saying that it's trying to connect to connecting to obtaining an IP address, etc. But we finally heard it say connected once it was all connected. So you just kind of have to wait for it to get through all of its short little messages, and then you are connected. That will wrap up this video on the Braille Plus 18 and Wi-Fi networks. We hope you have found it useful, and thank you for watching.